Hey, this is Chris Lipe covering Chris Stapleton. Man, what an amazing blend of soul, country, rock, uh, awesomeness. I mean, he's he's just a wonderful singer to listen to. I love the agility that he has, and it, but he's he's subtle about it at the same time. And he's even more fun. I mean, I love his studio recordings, but live, his his vibe is just amazing. In this video, I'm going to break down one of his performances of Tennessee Whiskey. It's a live performance. Wonderful song. Some amazing things to analyze and and get into. But I'm going to say this, because I say this on all my reaction videos, this is not going to be a typical reaction video. I'm going to stop the video. I'm going to sing some of what he does. I'm going to analyze what he does. I'm going to try to unpack what he does, not for the sake of imitating, because we shouldn't be imitating, but for the sake of being inspired and learning. Not everything I do is going to sound good. I don't care because it's not about that. It's about feeling the, res the results of working with another vocal style. Uh, it's not going to sound anything like him. But that's okay. It's going to sound like a cooler version of me eventually as I keep working through this. So as we go through this, you should take on that mindset as well. This is not about seeing me sing or sound just like Chris Stapleton. That's not what this is about. This is about learning and unpacking. If you want to take your own voice to a deeper level and further understand some of the concepts that I'm going to be talking about in this video, be sure to click the link below and join my free vocal course. All right, let's get started. Love that tone. Okay, now the first thing I want to point out, this guy is using twang obviously and subtly at the same time. Used to spend my nights. No. You You've heard me talk about crow before, using this in chest voice. Used to spend my nights. Now, what I'm doing sounds gratuitous and and fake. What he's doing sounds natural. The idea, though, is that we want to get, we want to borrow an extreme. I used to spend my nights. Oh. What I'm doing is I'm being hyper nasal. I'm putting the sound through my nose. As opposed to, oh. I used to spend my nights. When we combine this with compression, we get a, a, a neat sound. I used to spend my night. I used to spend my nights. I used to spend my nights. That's me using a little bit of twang in my chest with a little bit of compression, a little bit of gritty compression. When you use twang and compression at the same time, you grit up easier. And he demonstrates this a lot. Look who was the only love I'd known. Ooh. Like it was. Like it was the only love I've known. Now, he didn't go up at the end. But the point I'm trying to make is he was using that twang compression thing that I just talked about as he went up. And it almost sounded like this chesty mix sort of sound. And then he went down and went at that very trail when he's adding that vibrato, he actually went into head voice, even though it was lower than the aggressiveness that he just had. Super stylistic, super cool way to do things. 
I'm inspired by this kind of thing all the time. Like it was the only love I've known. Fun stuff. But you rescued me. But you rescued. Same thing. Notice how he goes, backs off on the edge of those phrases. Gone, gone. Trailing off into head voice at the end there. Not there. You're a sweet. It's not. You're a sweet. It's not. You're a sweet. It's in the middle. There's a little bit of that. You're, you're a sweet. Not as much false chord engagement as I just did there on that time, but maybe a little bit more the way I did it before. You're a sweet. I added that crack in for fun. Now, he has, and you hear this on the end of his phrases, he has a fantastic command, agility, with the pentatonic scale, the blues scale. He treats his voice almost like guitar riffing. You'll hear this in a minute. And when we are putting this kind of stuff in our voices, the goal should not be to copy the exact notes that that person is doing, but rather... Identify the scale and riff around with the scale as we would a guitar player with our own voice and find what feels natural and flowing for our own voice. It's kind of like trying to copy someone's rhythm when they're playing guitar. If you try to do exactly what they do rhythmically, it doesn't work. It feels forced. But if you try to just get in the groove and get in the, get in the, the uh, the vibe of the song and play the rhythm and kind of let it happen, then you come up with something that sounds natural and is actually closer to what they did in the first place. All right, here we go. Here we go. Right here. You're as wild. You're as wild. Wonderful bluesy pentatonic yeah oh now i'm not doing exactly what he's doing but what i'm thinking of is ah my voice is now a guitar i'm going to incorporate uh cool sounding uh compression and twang and false chord engagement to get that grit yeah and I'm gonna play around with, oh, yeah. And if you don't hit every note right all the time, big deal. Challenge yourself. Play a scale that you know on the guitar and then sing it. That's all he's doing. That's how he's developed this cool, well, he, his guitar and his voice are kind of one. Glass of brandy. Glass of brandy. All those little notes in there. Love is endings of the phrases. They're so chill. Okay. he plays with that note it he's he's going to an extreme but then he's and you can hear he goes really extreme and then he kind of comes back even before you start noticing noticing he's going to an extreme and really draws in the audience it's not just this ah, holding a note it's ah, twang it up bring some grit in compress it more ah, that's going to sound different with every voice, but if I just take inspiration from that, on that note that's a firm chest note, I, 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 how much can you do with one note? Another amazing thing that we can put into our own minds from guitar, 
right? There's billions of ways to play a note. You can bend the note. You can pick the note softly. You can do a false harmonic. You can do all these things with your, with that one note. You can do the same thing with your voice. Found the bottom of the bottles always dry. But when you pulled out your heart, I didn't waste it. That, yeah, I didn't waste it. So cool. Okay, what is that note? He's using twang high. It's that. It's not a fabulous chord closure there. It's not. Instead, he's open. He's allowing his his chords, his true chords, to open up a little bit. He's putting the sound through his nose, and he's letting it happen with a good amount of support and compression. So he's closing his false chord area to provide compression, and at the same time, letting more air through his uh, his primary chords. Is he thinking about all this? No. But as we understand, as we think about it, for a while, practice this sort of thing, we can forget about it later and, and act off of inspiration. Give me a high. This allows me to hold the note out longer and not run out of breath. Because if I'm not practicing compression at the same time I'm letting more air through my primary chords, I run out of air too, I run out of air too fast. Give me a <laughs> Right? Give me a Now, if you do that wrong, <laughs> if you start trying to compress too low in your throat, you're gonna start coughing. So you need to mentally focus on putting that compression up above your voice box. Blended it perfectly. You're a sweet strawberry wine. You're as one. Now, this is worth mentioning too. Notice what the background vocal is doing while he's singing. This is huge because he's obviously the lead. Her consonants are muted. You can even see it in her delivery if you watch closely. And her performance is behind in time his vocals. If you're singing background vocals, mute your consonants and don't eliminate them, but mute them a little bit and practice singing behind your lead vocalist. What I love is listening to the similarities between his guitar playing and his vocals. There are so many similarities. You can hear his chest voice, his twangy chest voice in that, that phrase there. And then... It's a seamless... You're a sweet... Again, falling off those phrases with, with dynamics. One wide open nasal. As a glass, as a glass of brandy. Adding that compression with that twang. As a glass of brandy. That's very different than as a glass. It's not a forward sound. It is held back and delivered through the nasal passage. Honey, I stay Honey, I... Yeah, I... 
That note, to me, is just a wonderful mixed twangy note. Let's get there. There's your dying cat. I'm gonna place, I'm gonna crow it. Ah, crow, crow, ah! I'm gonna put my, my lips up like this, make my face long, and I'm gonna focus putting most of the sound through my nose. Ah! Okay, that's a well-supported head. Now, I'm gonna push in the mix. I'm going to acknowledge my vocal break and let it sit in between, dial in the amount of grit that I wanna dial in. Smooth, smooth, smooth. It's fun to experiment. And, you know, I'm not in any way nailing the agility and the notes that he's doing. And some of my notes are off pitch wise. But by going over some of these things, smooth, smooth, smooth. You're thinking more about how your note, your voice rolls off of each note rather than actually hitting each note. That helps you move quickly. And the only way to do this is to dial it in and be okay with not doing it right the first time. I hope you enjoyed this Chris Stapleton breakdown. I love doing these kind of videos, especially great singers like this. Uh, if you'd like me to do other videos like this, dissecting the styles of different singers and helping us put some of what they do into our own voices, be sure to let me know other artists you'd like me to do this with. This is my first uh, country <laughs> artist, although he's, he's, he has so many other layers to him at the same time. Just love his voice. Again, if you want to take some of the things that I talked about in this video further, be sure to click the link below and join my free vocal course. And check out the In the Style of playlist on the channel uh, to discover all sorts of other vocalists that I have um, I've covered. We'll see you for more.